According to this criminal complaint, Tapia was on his motorcycle, stopped here at this intersection at San Mateo and Montgomery when he got into an argument with a man in the passenger seat of a black pickup. This is Luis Armijo. Police believe he was the passenger arguing with Tapia. Tapia told police the truck followed him west on Montgomery, then on to Jefferson. Then near Pan American Freeway, Tapia says the man pulled out a gun and shot him. This is video of Tapia in the hospital. His mom, Teresa, says the bullet is too close to his femur to remove. Having something that's just constantly there as a reminder is frustrating for him. Tapia is in the National Guard and was getting ready for active duty. Now his military future is in jeopardy. We have to go get more x-rays to see if it's moved or anything and because um, he went to his primary. So we're just waiting on the advice of his doctors, but right now they're saying it looks like it's going to stay put. The report says moments before Tapia was shot, someone called police saying her brother was arguing with a guy on a motorcycle and that police needed to get there or she would kill the motorcycle driver. Investigators traced the number to a woman who has two brothers, one of whom is Armijo. Police say Tapia later identified Armijo as the shooter from a set of photos they brought him. Armijo is charged with shooting at or from a vehicle resulting in injury and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Happen. Teresa says this has been a terrible situation for everyone involved. I mean, look at the person that, that actually shot at my son. Now he's behind bars and my son's facing an, un, an uncertain future. Like, it's not worth it. Our last check, Armijo was still behind bars. His first scheduled court appearance, November 8th. Reporting here in Northeast Albuquerque, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News.